So this is episode five of Inside Joseph Campbell. Today we're talking about the call to adventure. The adventure might begin from a blunder, or when a passing phenomenon causes a wandering eye, luring the hero from the frequented path. So what does that mean? It's Harry Potter getting his letter from Hogwarts. It's Neo following the White Rabbit. It's Luke Skywalker finding um, Princess Leia's message on R2-D2. Those are all calls to adventure. The hero either makes a mistake or breaks their daily routine. And as a result, it leads them to something new. You know, from that break or that mistake, you know, curiosity is spiked in them and it eventually leads to some kind of change. Now... Freud says, These breaks from routine slash mistakes are really suppressed desires and conflicts that they can run deep into our minds. Where there is a call to adventure, there is always a herald. And the herald will either cause a crisis or will show up to a crisis. And the herald could be trying to encourage the hero to live a better life. It could be trying to uh, tell them to kill off a part of themselves that isn't working anymore. Or it could be asking them to take on a monumental society-altering task. Now, when the Herald shows up is when the hero becomes curious about new possibilities. It's their moment of self-awakening. And the Herald could be represented by uh, a character in the story, could be an object could be an innocuous incident that happens. So let me give you some examples. It could be Eva showing up on planet Earth to surprise Wally. It could be Harry getting his letter from Hogwarts. Or it could be um, you know, the start of every rom-com in the 90s, where she's in a rush and she bumps into him and papers go flying and he helps her pick them up and, and they share a moment. Now that moment is the first step that the hero takes that leads to change. Old ideas, concepts, emotional patterns won't really work for them after they get the call to adventure. And it's also when the symbols of the World Naval are first introduced to the hero. Now if you want to check out the World Naval, uh, I've got my video about it up here. Now the call to adventure is the first sign that change is going to happen. And change is scary and anxiety inducing. Now, I'm gonna let Freud explain where he suggests anxiety comes from. At times of anxiety, we feel the same as when we are separated from the mother. And at times where we are separated from the mother, we feel anxiety. And anxiety has certain traits or archetypes, danger, Reassurance, trial, passage, being just a few of them. Now the Herald represents the unconscious. Now if the ordinary world is the conscious mind, then the special world is the unconscious mind. And it's in the unconscious mind, or the special world, where the hero puts all the things that they uh, reject about themselves or have hidden from themselves. Anything that they don't know about themselves lives in the special world. And all of their potential for growth exists in the special world. Now, the Herald is usually judged by the hero as dangerous, dark, or mysterious. Um, But if they pursue them, then they'll show them their full potential. Or as a beast, which is usually in fairy tales, And it represents the repressed instinctual ability to create new ideas. Or as a veiled creature which represents the unknown. So here's a few little extra tidbits about heralds. A herald will usually appear when a hero is looking for new ideas or if they're scared of sharing the same fate as someone else. Now when a herald turns up, it's the sign of a new chapter that's about to start in a hero's life. A herald is very familiar to the special world, but is completely alien and even threatening to the ordinary world. And that's because when a herald shows up, things that used to have meaning kind of lose their meaning, and it can leave the hero with like a hole in their life. And it might be one that they'll be able to deal with for a little while, but 
if you ignore the Herald, uh, then it'll end up leaving the hero feeling empty. Which leads to the most important tidbit. The Herald can't be ignored forever. You made it to the end. So I'm going to leave you on a quote from Joseph Campbell um, from the book Hero of a Thousand Faces, the one we're going through in this series. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you next week when we talk about uh, the refusal of the return. So here's that quote. The call to adventure signifies that destiny has summoned the hero and transferred their spiritual centre of gravity to their society to a place unknown. The region of danger and treasure may be variously represented, but is always a place of polymorphous beings, unimaginable torment, superhuman deeds, and impossible delight. The hero can go forth under their own volition, or be carried into it by a benign or malignant agent.